Hello everybody, Fuzzfinger here and welcome to a brand new game. Well, not a brand new game in gaming sense, but in terms of content on my channel. I haven't done anything yet for Final Fantasy 3. And a few people have been asking me about this, especially uh, those who have been watching my Final Fantasy 10 and Lightning Returns walkthroughs. So I said if enough people asked, then I would definitely go ahead and give this a go, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, whether or not this turns into a fully fledged video walkthrough, which I'm happy to do, uh, solely depends on whether you guys want that or not. So by all means post the comments, hit the like button and I'll do a few episodes. If it becomes fairly popular then we'll keep this series going for sure. So this game is the Steam version of Final Fantasy 3 released at the end of May. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, then by all means do go ahead and do so. It's been kept, I believe, somewhat under the radar. I only actually found out about it when somebody uh, let me know about it in uh, one of my YouTube comments. But without any further ado, enough of my blabbing, let's go ahead and load a new game. So I haven't actually started a game yet, I don't know why I clicked that. Just got to get used to the controls. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. So hopefully it won't take too much getting used to. Hopefully I'll be able to adjust the volume. Yep, that sounds good to me. Hmm. That's great. There we go. Yeah, basically this is a port from the Nintendo 3DS. And without any further ado, we are thrust into battle. I will adjust the volume, so hopefully you can just bear with me for a moment. Uh, you can't hear me too well. We've got no magic, so we'll go ahead with standard attack. If you've played any kind of Final Fantasy or old school Japanese role playing game, then the battle system's going to feel somewhat familiar to you. The one thing I will mention about this game is it is actually quite challenging. A lot of the quality of life improvements that came with the later Final Fantasy games are not present in this game. Using save points, etc., won't heal you or the like. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, there's no way to adjust the volume. Let me just go and do it from Windows. I'll be back with you in a moment. Hopefully, uh, I can be heard a little bit better now. One thing I do want to do while we are here, though, is change the default move to run. Something which does happen by default in, uh, well, Final Fantasy VIII onwards, I believe. So we don't have a whole lot in the way of uh, menu selection at the minute. The job system is not yet active, but that will be active in due course. Quick save is a feature that's come over from the 3DS version. You select that and it will save your game wherever you are, but it does then quit the game. So you can't like save and then protect yourself from a game over doing it that way. You have to use the normal save function. Uh, so we will have random encounters. As I said, this is a port from the 3DS. The original game was released by Square in 1990 for the NES system. We're going to go ahead and equip the leather shield and the knife. The knife we already had. I don't know why I took that off. I'll just make sure there's nothing else to pick up there. Nope. This is also the first Final Fantasy game that uses the uh, fairly famous job system and of course we saw a somewhat similar system being used in the recently released uh, Bravely Default also for the 3DS I actually enjoyed that game as well but I was just a little bit disappointed because without going into too many spoilers I didn't like the way that a lot of the story ended up having to get repeated several times I got a bit annoyed with that to be honest. A bit too repetitive for my liking. But here we are facing the good old back attack. And thanks to our leather shield there, we're taking zero damage. 
At least I presume that's something to do with our leather shield. These goblins are weak. We do have a boss coming up. As you would expect. This game really throws you in at the deep end, doesn't it? And as I mentioned, it does get challenging as well. So we're using the freelancer job at the moment. It doesn't actually tell you that because the job system's not active. But trust me, we are. We'll go ahead and equip the longsword. There's no reason to hold off on that. Our attack will go from 8 to 10. Some of the controls here were made for the touch screen. And I think it does kind of show that this is a port. But in saying that, on the PC, it does actually look quite nice. The graphics, the models, the backgrounds, all fairly crisp. The only thing that you can tell has been upscale, believe it or not, I think is the text. The text isn't quite uh, up there with the quality of the rest of the graphics. I mean, maybe the graphics haven't changed and this is just the resolution that's used on 3DS. I don't know, to be honest. I'm just assuming they have uh, been increased. Uh, right, so we've got a, a bit of a mazy area to explore here. And it's worth doing because we can get some extra items, some nice loot. And we've got some extra monsters to fight as well. And with our long sword, hopefully we'll be able to one-shot the majority of these. And as I mentioned, uh, the only way to heal is by using an inn or by using your potions. I guess when we get the white mage job, then we can heal using uh, spells, but that isn't available at the minute. Antarctic wind. Oh, actually, I've just realised there is a a well for us to heal at in a moment. So it would be a good opportunity to grind, I guess, wouldn't it? How much experience are we getting per kill here? Or per battle? Five. We're gaining levels. Slowly but surely, we are gaining levels. Uh, we're level two at the minute. Is there any way to see how much experience we need? Uh, yes, we need 30. So that would require six more battles at that rate. Which I might just do. An extra level is not going to go amiss. Let's see what's in the magic chest here. Another potion. And we've got some new enemy types here. but with a good old back attack. They're going to take a few hits each to get down, I would say. This is the Blue Wisp. So some of these enemies, not the ones we've seen so far, will be fairly familiar to Final Fantasy fans, of course. Many of the famous parts of Final Fantasy that you know and love originated in some of the early games. Incidentally, Final Fantasy 3 I don't think was released in its original form anyway over in the West. It was a Japanese exclusive. So it's a nice opportunity to play this game now they've done the remake version. Of course they did it for the 3DS but still in Final Fantasy terms that was quite recent still. In 2006 this game came out on the 3DS. Which means, and here's that well I was telling you about. 26 years. Sorry, 16 years. Of only a Japanese release. 
It's late. Yeah, my maths isn't brilliant at the moment. Right, what I'm probably going to do then is just do a tad bit of grinding. See how we get on here. Missing doesn't help. Okay, so I've just grabbed another level and then we can proceed through the door for our boss battle encounter. Right, this is the land turtle. The land turtle has 115 hit points, so it might take a, a few turns to actually destroy. But as long as you've got some potions, then you should be okay. I'm not sure if the Antarctic winds will do any good. Maybe we could try one out, shall we? We've collected them, we might as well use them. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Let's do another one. Forty-eight points of damage isn't to be sniffed at. Fifty-five. And the boss is dead. If you don't want to use those, they're not really necessary. It just takes longer to attack him to death. Five hundred gil and twenty XP. And now we're going to get a bit of an important cutscene. Apparently, Luneth has been chosen. What does that mean? We don't know yet. Now you know, we've been chosen as the bringer of hope. Makes sense. It's the crystal talking to us. Incidentally, if you've played Bravely Default, which I mentioned earlier, and you're thinking, wow, this is actually quite similar, then Bravely Default was actually created loosely. I say loosely because not directly, but loosely as a sequel to Final Fantasy III. So we need to go and find ourselves a party. Luneth doesn't understand, but that's perfectly fine. This is Final Fantasy, nobody ever understands. And now we're going to be introduced to the world map. Yet another staple of Final Fantasy games, of course. At least the older ones. And you can save your game now in the world map. We're going to start heading south straight to the village of Ur, which is our next destination. But I'm going to finish off here today, so thank you for joining me. Again, let me know what you guys think of me doing a playthrough for Final Fantasy III. And if the interest stays pretty high, then I'm happy to continue doing this. I'm still going to be uploading my Final Fantasy X videos, so do go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. And Lightning Returns, I know it's taken a bit of a back burner, but I will be getting back to that as well. Definitely have plans to finish it. So thanks for joining me folks, I've been your host Fuzzfinger, and hopefully I'll see you soon for more Final Fantasy III.